Sue and I lived in a, a lovely home in an orchard in New Zealand by a lovely stream and we had three children and our own small business and we were very happy and we would put, Sue was expecting our fourth child and um, in an evening we'd put the children to bed and we would sit down together and uh, we would look at each other and we would say is this it? You know, is this what we're going to do now? Um, and uh, we thought, no, maybe we should do a little more than this. So we thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could pioneer? But of course we had no, we had our small children, Sue was pregnant, and um, we only had this small business which we'd recently started and wasn't worth a great deal. And so we couldn't afford to pioneer, but we did want to pioneer. And so we said, let us tell Baha'u'llah that we want to pioneer and we'll leave it to him. If he feels our hearts are ready to pioneer, he will open the door. If not, well, let us be patient. So we uh, sat down that evening and we said the prayer for pioneers. And then we put it out of our mind, went to bed. The next time I went into our store, we had a, a store, natural remedies, vitamins, uh, you know, that kind of thing we sold. The very next time that I went into, the, into our store, I opened it up and um, a chap came in and he said, I want to buy your store. The current MP for Santo had met with the National Assembly. He'd just come back from a visit in India and he'd seen the Baha'i schools there and he had asked if it would be possible for the National Assembly to put a Baha'i school on Santo. So, there's a chap just come in and said he wants to buy the store. And Sue said, let's go with it. We'd never heard of Vanuatu, but uh, we uh, said, okay, we'll think about it, find out about it. And we thought we would homeschool. And uh, we started our little school in a room above a, a stationary store. We had, uh, I, I think, uh, seven kids, seven students. Uh, four of whom were ours. Sue was our only teacher and I did all the running around and uh, uh, got things organised. We called it Rouhani School after Mr Rahul Rouhani. He was asked by the Muslim government to recant his faith and he said no he would not uh, because he believed Baha'u'llah, the prophet founder of the Baha'i faith, was the messenger of God for today. The Muslim authorities insisted that if he did not he would be imprisoned and he was and eventually he was killed. And this was brought to our notice just as we decided to uh, open this school and we found out later that Rahani means spiritual. We opened in 1999 and it's just progressively blossomed and that that really has been the main focus of our life here now. We just opened the doors you know and all kinds of people came. Some kids had never been in, of course never held a pen before a pencil. We had no resources anyway. Sue, Sue used to teach with her guitar and bits of coral off the floor you know one plus one equals two. And... The Baha'i friends uh, came out of the bush they would climb these trees with a bush knife or an axe and they would be way way up in the tree hacking these branches off. Oh. Deeds of stamina and strength and courage and they cut all these posts and planted all around the three hectares of land that we got. It was, they were amazing, utterly amazing. <laughs> 